The big story today continues to be the huge political storm over the citizens list in Assam. Today, BJP President Amit Shah attacked the opposition for its criticism, saying this was a matter of India's security. But Mamta Banerjee has talked about a civil war and a bloodbath. More than 40 lakh people could potentially lose their citizenship of India because they don't have documents to prove that their ancestors came here before 1971. Meanwhile, the Supreme Court, which is monitoring the rollout of this list, had another hearing on it today and said that no action has to be taken by any authority just yet, that this is only a draft list, that a fair procedure has to be adopted for claims and objections. The court asked the NRC coordinator and the government to submit a procedure for examining claims and counterclaims and the matter will now be heard on the 16th of August. Parliament repeatedly disrupted over 4 million people being declared non-citizens in Assam. BJP President Amit Shah took the battle to the opposition, saying the BJP had done what Rajiv Gandhi had signed on during the Assam Accord in 1985. मैं पूछना चाहता हूं राहुल गांधी को कि आपकी परनामी की बात आप भूल गए हैं या आज भी इस पर अड़ी हैं आप देश के सामने स्पष्टता करिए While Rahul Gandhi has said the NRC move was begun under Prime Minister Manmohan Singh the current execution he said had created massive insecurity and crisis The former Assam chief minister called it the Congress's brainwave the 1985 Assam Accord was signed after years of violence and protests, the main promise being a fresh count of who is a citizen and who is not. This was to be done by updating the 1951 National Register of Citizens. However, it was finally ordered in 2015, not by the NDA government, but by the Supreme Court. But the BJP made the battle lines clear. Not only will they defend it, but some, upping the political stakes, now want the Assam-specific policy extended to other states. Taking them on, Mamta Banerjee, the Bengal chief minister, the state had seen an influx of refugees over decades. So, the name of the name is the name of the name of the name of the name of the name जो अपने भारतीय होने का प्रूफ नहीं दे पाए हैं जो ये साबित नहीं कर पाए हैं कि वो भारतीय नागरिक हैं उनके ही नाम को लिस्ट से अलग किया गया आई एम मुस्लिम दैट्स व्हाई आई विल बी आइसोलेटेड आई एम दलित दैट्स व्हाई आई विल बी आइसोलेटेड इफ इट गोस लाइक दिस गोस ऑन लाइक दिस डोंट यू थिंक इट इट विल क्रिएट अ सिविल वॉर डोंट यू थिंक it will create a blood war. Now some BJP state chiefs want this extended. So our Sima is not so much as possible. But Bangladesh people who have come from Bangladesh, the Bangladeshi people have to be aware of it. Is it in Rajasthan? We can't say it yet, but if it is necessary, we can feel it. In Bengal, there are about 1 crore infiltrators. So they are living here. They have become a voter. They have become a other card. यहाँ बाढ़ लगाने नहीं देती ममता बनर्जी बांग्लादेश बॉर्डर में बांग्लादेशी घुसपैठिया आते रहे उनको वोटर वोट बैंक बढ़ते रहे आगे गार्जियन सब वोट में बैठ लेक देम फर्स्ट टैकेल दे इलेक्शन फर्स्ट 2019 किसी पॉलिटिकल पार्टी को इसे अपनी राजनीति और वोट के लिए ये किसी इस्तेमाल नहीं करना च what Amit Shah's statements show is a hardening of stand by the BJP, where he defends the citizens list. But politics aside, what happens to those 40 lakh people? No one really knows. With Sunitra Chaudhary, I'm Sonal Mehrotra Kapoor, NDTV. Well, interestingly, my colleague Ratnadeep Chaudhary went to a predominantly Hindu village in Assam tonight, where only 30% of those living there have made it to the list. We are coming to you from uh, Nelly area in central Assam. Now this area has seen a lot of violence in past, right from 1983. Uh, the infamous Nelly massacre occurred here. Uh, we are coming to you from a Bengali Hindu village, uh, which has been settled here since 1952. And uh, this village, in this village, a uh, lot of people have actually missed out in the draft 
एन आर सी कम आउट एंड आप बता रहे थे आपके परिवार में कितने लोगों का नाम आया मेरे परिवार में सर एक भी नहीं आया एक भी नाम नहीं आया जो फर्स्ट ड्राफ्ट है उसमें नाम आया था कि नहीं नहीं आया तो आ, क्यों नहीं आया आपने आ, आपके डॉक्यूमेंट्स आपने क्या क्या डॉक्यूमेंट्स दिए डॉक्यूमेंट्स तो फिफ्टी का रेशन कार्ड दिया सिक्सटी में घर जला दिया गाँव जला दिया उसका सिल्चर से रेशन कार्ड निकला वो भी दिया जमीन का पट्टा दिया तो भी नहीं निकला केंद्र सरकार जो सिटीजनशिप अमेंडमेंट बिल लाना चाहती है उसके द्वारा केंद्र सरकार ये कोशिश कर रही है कि जो हिंदू रिफ्यूजीज़ हैं उनको सिटीजनशिप का स्टेटस मिल जाए मगर यहाँ पे हम देख रहे हैं कि एनआरसी के चलते जो हिंदू लोग हैं उनका नाम बहुत कम आया है कैसे देखते हैं इस सिचुएशन को एक्चुअली ये बात हम लोग को सही तरीके से पता नहीं है हम लोग को जो डॉक्यूमेंट्स हम लोग ने सबमिट किया लेकिन क्या हो गया कुछ लोगों का आया है मतलब एक घर का दो बंदे का आया है बाकी पांच बंदा नहीं है ऐसा करके सबका छूट रहा है क्यों छूट रहा है हम लोग को पता नहीं है लेकिन हम लोग को एक ही नहीं कि हम लोग को फिर से मिलेगा जो सरकार ने जो ऑप्शन रखा है उसमें हम लोग क्लेम करेंगे सो दे यू आर दीज पीपल आर होपफुल दैट दो अमॉन्ग देम लेफ्ट आउट इन द ड्राफ्ट एन आर सी वुड मेक इट इन द फाइनल लिस्ट Well joining us on the program tonight on what continues to be a huge political story Mr Garga Chatterjee who is a supporter of the TMC Mr Chandra Bose vice president of the BJP in West Bengal Mr Kalyan Barua who is the bureau chief of the Assam Tribune joins us Jayvi Shekel the spokesperson of the Congress here in the studio with us and Mr Ajay Gautam uh, who is the petitioner in this case uh, has uh, uh, has also uh, joined us here in the studio tonight the big question Kalyan Barua let me begin by asking you is before we get to the politics is where are these people going to go i think that that is a big concern that at the end of this exercise is there any plan in place does the supreme court have anything in mind does the government have anything in mind that okay let's say out of these 40 lakh people you end up with a list of 30 lakh people that you say are not indian citizens where are they going to go is is would you say that that's the biggest worry right now you say first i would like to take you back to 2005 uh, sorry 1985 when the assam accord was signed there it was decided that the foreigners would be de first detected then then deleted their names would be deleted from the voters list and then deported now we have crossed the first stage which is the detection now it is for the government it would be very interesting for the for us to watch what the government does whether it goes for deletion of names from the voter list and then subsequently deported as as promised in the assam accord so these are the three d's that uh, had been haunting assam for quite long some for now i mean for over 30 years now so it is for the government we are carefully watching everyone is watching what the government does next because as the government told the supreme court today they expect the first phase that is the detection process to be over by 31st december 2018 now after that the sonwal government or the modi government here has to take a call on what to do next with this identified people you know but 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 you know the irony in all of this is mr chandra bose that it is not uh, you know just you know muslims who are on that list there are a lot of hindus who are on that list there are families for instance or uh, you know who have some family members who are declared indian citizens others who have to you know bring their papers even the family of the former president fakhruddin ali ahmed is not on this list i mean he was the president of india so would you say that there is something that has gone massively wrong in the way that this has rolled out b b before we talk about anything else first of all let us not give it a religious color this is a massive exercise this commitment was made by the congress party in 1985 when rajiv gandhi was at the helm of affairs but they could not implement it why they couldn't implement it is for them to answer the first time the nda government has taken up this massive exercise it is an important exercise which has to be done the issue is illegal immigrants as against citizens of our nation you see the priority of a government central government and state government is to protect the citizens of our nation to maintain security both internal and external now if illegal immigrants are given residency there is a question the first question is of security we don't know the but antecedents if if i may interrupt mr bose 
Uh, is the, the family of Mr. Fakhruddin Ali Ahmed are they not Indian? Are, are, are the, are, yes. are, is the family of the former, uh, former president of India, the, his descendants, are they not Indians? Certainly. So how and how is it that some family members find their names in the list, but a brother, a this sister, a mother don't list. find find their name? This is not the final list. I think Mr. Amit Shah has made it very clear. There might, may be certain anomalies. Those would be rectified in due course. You see, the NRC is working for instructions from the Supreme Court of India. The Supreme Court would not allow any anomalies or any errors in the final list. Once the final list has come out, you see, the, the people have to provide certain essential documentation to establish their citizenship. You see, it is a procedure which has to be followed. You see, well, I am a rights point activist. Is that you know, those, those, ana those anomalies who, who are, are actually their, something that could cost uh, people know, their lives. But the, though these are not just anomalies. I mean, the, these are Javier Shergil, something that could really, you know, I mean, <coughs> now these people will have to go through an appeals process, appear before a tribunal with with documentation to prove that no we are i mean the you know that we are actually citizens of india so you know the way this has been implemented and i'm going to come to the fact uh, to the congress's position as well in just a moment seems to be extremely questionable having said that this actually gener was gen an idea that was generated by the congress you know nidhi tragically mr amit shah in his addiction to propaganda wants to manufacture a political confrontation with the congress uh, by uh, risking a issue of uh, national security now, uh, you know, in his addiction to a drum beating, he forgot that this NRC exercise is being done after the orders of the Honorable Supreme Court and the petitioner is here too. And this exercise was an ongoing exercise, point one. Point two, he is again factually young where nobody, a non-Indian has been left out of the list. Nidhi, Azmal Haq, an army officer, Mr. Amaruddin, first deputy speaker of Assam, the, the security officer of the chief minister, Shah Alam Bhayan, he is not in the list. So, the opposition for flagging the lapses in the exercise for the uh, sake of the citizens so they don't overnight become aliens in their own land is being today termed as Bengali appeasement. So, every media house who today says this exercise which has costed 1200 crore of rupees has resulted into labeling Indians and foreigners in their own land should not be questioned is not the way to go what forward. What did the Congress want to do when it, when it wanted to introduce the NRC? What was your objective? The objective was Nidhi very simple. The problem of Assam illegal immigrants is a realistic problem. The Supreme Court in 2005 labelled it. It plays with the internal disturbances in Assam. The illegal immigrants need to be deported, identified, dealt with. Today, the, we have not reached that. 18 July, Mr. Rajnath Singh was in Bangladesh. Did he, the Indian government raise the issue with the government of Bangladesh? Look, the list is coming to a culmination. What will we do with that? Second, does India have a stateless people's policy? Three, the foreign tribunals have till date, Nidhi, from 85 to 2017, have labelled 92,000 people as foreigners. You know how many were deported? Only 17 in 2017 and 5,243 in 2013. Right. Which, which is why I'm asking, what are we going to do if you suddenly make 30, 40 lakh people stateless? I mean, what is the plan for them? And But, but Garga Chatterjee, let me ask you, when Mamta Banerjee says that uh, there is going to be a civil war over this, that there is going to be a bloodbath over this. Is that a bit of an exaggeration because we're heading into an election year? It is, it is, it is uh, apprehension she has mentioned because of the nefarious and barbaric ways in which Indian Union citizens are being made refugees in their own land. Let us understand who are the key players in this whole game. Narendra Modi, of course, I do not have to say more about how peace-loving he is and has been in Gujarat. Sarbanan Sonowal, he is an ASU leader. This state has seen a certain ethnic kind of dimension in mass killing Hindus in Shilapathur, Muslims in Nelly and various other examples. Today when the NRC has been announced, Ulfa, Ulfa of all people are celebrating ASU is celebrating, we basically have patently racist groups which have kind of uh, uh, tied up with the union government to basically make huge number of Indian citizens refugees in their own land. And why is that so? One has to understand a very important question here. 
everybody is for detection of illegal immigrants okay for non-citizens of course but the parameter for determining who is a non-citizen should be uniform across people it should not be something for a certain linguistic group and something else for other people let us have that and you know when we have because when what is being talked about clerical errors are not clerical errors because you see these so-called clerical errors clearly have a certain bias there are not so many clerical errors in Upper Assam. There are not so many clerical errors in areas where BJP wins a lot of seats. This is a way to completely disenfranchise areas from where BJP does not get too many votes. No, historically. but I, I know what this you're talking about. You're talking about, about large Muslim populations. But the fact also is, Mr. Chatterjee, as we've been no, 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 now, not only Muslims. Even Hindus. Muslims and Hindus. Let's. Muslims even and Hindu, Hindus. Even let's in not Hindu make areas, it a areas you're issue. seeing a lot of Topodhi, people now who are not on that list. This is actually affecting people of uh, both, both religions. So, so, yeah. See, here's the thing. You showed the hapless people who were in that village and the whole list of things that was being rattled off. You know that you go to a tribunal, you go to a this. People have already committed suicide. People have... People are in a uh, union government has given 65 crores for making detention camps. What are we creating here? Are we a humane society? Are we a society that actually puts their own citizens into concentration camps because they do not vote for a ruling okay, those party? Those are pretty strong words. No, what are you, we? At? Are we? Are we this putting our citizens into? Told. You're saying oh, are we putting our own people into concentration camps? Okay, Ajay Gautam ji, let me ask you, what what would the, would would you say would happen to these people if they have to? Where, where would they be deported to? Bangladesh is saying hamare log nahi hai. So the, where will the they first go? First of all issue is that due to the appeasement at vote bank politics, for the last four decades we are freeing of the citizens who are for the neighbor of the neighbor countries. And we are giving our our own children are dying dying are dying due to hunger and other things and in the absence of any medical aid and we are giving the bottle of the bread bottle of the milk and bread and butter to the children of other countries. Issues vary thing. When I go with the statical details which is available on the floor, if I we go with the Mangal Doe, if we go the Barpeta, Bogai Gav, Gwal Pada, Silchar, Karim Gain and Hoila Kanji, I see the number of the, the number of the Muslim community increase the number of times in last two or three decades. Issues vary there Mangal Doe where where the Hindu Hindu uh, populated, but uh, it's a reason. Now it's a now Hindu are the minority in that particular reason. No, I, uh, where will these people go? No, no. Issue issue is that that let us decide by the Union of India because we we are not saying ki where they have to go, but why we will allow to feed the peoples who are the infiltrator by the by the money of the taxpayer of this country. Do you not think so? This is this is the but injustice. But what about those people who are not infiltrators, as you call them, or not migrants, illegal migrants or immigrants, and who are genuinely Indian citizens who are finding that their names are missing? They, they get no no data and uh, no procedure is the full proof, and the uh, procedure with regard to the RC is the base is, is base basic on the uh, verification of the family tree. It might be there is in any shortcoming in the short software of the verification with regard to the family tree. The authorities and agencies will correct it 